Um, welcome everyone to our Big Brother Canada 9 Final Four interview with Love. Beth. No, she's the fifth. She the is the fifth. But she almost was fourth, though, so that's where your your mix-up came in. Welcome, everyone, to our Big Brother Canada 9 finale. <laughs> what is happening? I <laughs> guess not the finale. They faked us out with the fake double. <laughs> they did fake us out, and we still haven't recovered from it. So I maintain was a real double with a battle back. Anyway, let's start again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Nicole. Hello. Hello, Eric. Hello. And hello to all of you, and welcome to our exit interview with Beth from Big Brother Canada 9. Now, before we get into that, I want to let all of you know really quickly, make sure that you follow, like, and subscribe wherever you guys are watching. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all your favorite places, because that's how you get alerted every time we do new shows. And look, while Big Brother Canada may be ending, Nicole and I are going to be covering The Circle probably starting next week so that we have so that you have more goodness to watch along with us while we wait for BBUS to start. And of yeah. course, we still have all of our Hello Friends shows and we'll have those exit interviews with the BBK9 house guests where you get to ask your questions in our postseason special. So make sure that you are following so you get alerted every time those shows post. And of course... Share our shows. Share this one now. Maybe someone you know will like it. A friend, a relative, a grandma, a Facebook group. You guys know the deal. You're our best little marketers and support systems. So you sharing our shows are very much appreciated. As is commenting, thumbsing up, and hitting that bell in YouTube. All that good stuff. And finally, if you're like, where do I find all of these great places you're located? Head over to HelloFriendsPod.com. Click on that Find Us Live page. There you'll find our live show schedule and the links to all of Nicole's socials, mine, and of course, the podcasts. Mm -hmm. So, are you excited for this, Nicole? I am so excited for this. Um, obviously, Big Brother Canada had another dramatic week in that house. We saw a repeat of the fake double eviction nominations with our two ladies, Tara and Beth, nominated. Brayden ends up holding all of the power this week. He wins his third competition in a row. He holds the veto. He locks in the ladies as the two nominees. And by a vote of 2-0 with Ty and Keith voting, Beth is evicted from the house. She becomes the 10th evicted house guest, the fifth juror, and she will help determine the winner of this season. Now, look, I just want to give a little teeny disclaimer here. Um, you know, sometimes as we've seen, the Big Brother Canada Wi-Fi and signal gets a little bit weird in question. Now, you know, if that happens during this or in the edit, you guys, you know the deal. It's just, it's just the internet. Yes, it's the interweb. And now to not get into the galaxy of wires and Fios what? We're going to get started and introduce the lady of the hour, the one, the only, Beth. Hey, Beth. It is Erica Nicole from Hello Friends. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Beth. Okay, so we're going to jump right into our questions for you. And the first Andy. one is, what are your overall thoughts on Braden's HOH this past week? Do you think he made the best move for his game? Do you think he made a big mistake? I personally think he made a big mistake. Um, I don't know what anyone's thinking of getting Kiefer out right now. That's the move of the season. And if he makes it to the end, he wins. That could have been Braden's big moment. He made a big mistake. And not because I'm bitter, but only a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're sitting here as a result of Ty and Kiefer's two votes. Do you think that either or both of them made the best moves for their respective games? Kiefer made a good move for his game. I was never taking him with me. No one can beat the guy. Um, Ty did not make the best decision. I was taking Ty all the way, despite all of our fights this week. He, yeah, he didn't make a good decision taking me out of that game. Okay, so going off of these last two questions, 
who and or what do you credit the most with your eviction this week? And do you have any regrets now that you're entering the jury house? I'm going to give credits to, uh, I'm going to give it to Ty because even if Kiefer wanted me out, well, yeah, the decision really came down to Ty and Brayden. Brayden was the tiebreaker and Brayden was going to kind of do what Ty wanted. I kind of think that it was Ty's HOH ultimately. Maybe I should have zipped it all week and not been yelling uh-huh. at everybody. I <laughs> maybe would have had a better chance to say All right, let's talk about your relationship with Jed in the house. Uh, At the beginning of the season, you shared that your strategy was you kind of wanted to play the guys. So how much of your interactions with Jed were more so that strategy and how much of them were more so genuine? I would say a majority of them were genuine. I went to that game with the strategy of, yeah, having two guys wrapped around my finger. And Jed had me wrapped around his finger pretty quick, honestly. <laughs> they were, it was pretty genuine. Me and Jed are very, very close. And we actually played the game together the whole time. Okay. And piggybacking off of this do you see your relationship with jed being one that continues outside of the house do you want it to continue outside of the house absolutely and absolutely okay well on stage with arissa you received goodbye messages from ty and Kiefer and bray was there anything that shocked you from these messages or anything that changed your perspective on a specific player in the game Brayden, he was in on the jet boat the whole time. Here I thought that Brayden was kind of floating through the game, and I actually think he was just playing a different kind of game, maybe one that I should have taken a little bit from him. Um, I'm really, really proud of him for being a part of that. As sad as it is, he's killing it. Mm. Okay, Beth, so now we have a speed round for you. (laughs) So you're going to say a name. So the first one is, before these past few weeks where you were nominated, who of the final five would you have taken to final two? Uh, Ty and Brayden. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and now, after these two weeks where you were nominated, you know, and essentially evicted, who of the final five would you have taken with you, uh, you know, to the final two? Ty and Tara. Okay, imagine it's another fake eviction and you are headed right back into the house. Who's your main target and why? Keeper and Ty! Again, Keeper is the move of the season. It's time to get that guy out. I want him to go all the way now because I'm not there. But yes, I would have targeted him 100%. Okay. uh, Who do you hope will be the next person out the door? Ty. (laughs) (laughs) And who do you actually think will be the next person out the door? Oh, I hate saying it, but I think Tara, but I don't want it to be her. Okay, we heard you tell Arissa that you felt Kiefer was going to win, that you wanted Tara to win. At this point, who do you feel is playing the best game, and who do you think will be sitting next to them at final two? I think Kiefer is absolutely playing the best game. He's been playing nonstop since the start. He has tricked us all, and I love it so much. I think that he'll be sitting beside Ty. Okay, and now you currently want, like you said, for Tara to win. Who do you want to see sitting next to her in final two? Um, I would love to see Tara and Kiefer sitting at the end of this game. They played the whole game together, and she's just rocking it now. Like, out of nowhere, she's just been killing it. She played this game majority by herself. I'm just so proud of her, and if her and Kiefer are sitting there, Two people who really represent what season nine is all about. And who do you think is playing the worst game of those remaining? I think Ty is. I don't think he's doing good jury management. I think he really, really needs a move in order to win the game. He doesn't have much to say at the end, unfortunately. Okay. Um, Aside from Jed, of course, who are you most excited to see in jury? Tina! 100% Tina. I love Tina. Oh, oh, I love V. I love Ro. I'm so excited to see everybody. And then postseason, who are you most excited to see from pre-jury? Pre-jury, Julie and Kyle. 
Oh, yeah, I want to see everybody. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, Beth, our final question for you is, is there anything that you learned about yourself coming out of this Big Brother experience that you didn't know about yourself before you started playing this game? Patience. <laughs> Um, I also am really proud of, I, I knew I was a people person, um, but I really learned throughout that game that I have that ability to make really strong connections with people and make people feel comfortable personally and in the game. And I, I'm really proud of myself for that. Well, thank you so much, Beth. Enjoy the jury house. Take it all in and best of luck in your decision helping to crown the winner of this season. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Beth. Bye-bye. Bye. Aw, that was so great, Nicole. It was nice hearing from Beth. It was. She's a, a ball of energy, and I, I kind of love it. <laughs> it's going to be very different in that house on the feeds and on the episodes without her in there. As I suspected, the Wi-Fi could not contain her, but I we got the <laughs> point. We I think we got most of what she was saying, and I loved it. I loved hearing from her. Same. Likewise. Absolutely. I, um, you know, I am so excited to see where this finale of Big Brother takes us. I know we only have one week left. Nicole. Yeah. I know that, you know, d you don't like surprises, but I'm going to might maybe put you on the spot right now. Okay. I think we should do a finale viewing party. If you guys think Aww. we should do a finale viewing party, you should tweet Nicole <laughs> at Strong Island Nicole and convince her with me. <laughs> I love this. In the meantime, you know, yeah. as we saw in last night's episode, a new HOH is going to be crowned. The rest of the drama is going to unfold. And we have a week left of BB Can 9 drama until we see the champion crowned by the jury, one of whom the members, a member of whom, what, is Beth, <laughs> will crown uh, come Thursday, and it's going to be exciting, um, and I'm I'm intense. I'm ready. I'm intense. <laughs> now, again, remember, make sure that you guys follow, like, and subscribe all of the places that we do content. Of course, you can find all of those links over at HelloFriendsPod.com on the Find uh, Us live page for Nicole Social's Mind, the show, our schedule. And of course, you guys know the deal that sharing our shows now that you've made it almost to the end is super helpful, as is commenting below thumbsing up hitting that bell in youtube we really really appreciate your guys support it is what allows us to do more for you guys all season and you following is what keeps you updated every time we post new content and like we said we have our circle shows starting we have our postseason interviews with the house guests where you guys get to ask your questions later tonight who do we have a show with nicole we have a show with our dear friend, Alicia from Nailed It. We adore her. She's a friend of the show, a friend of ours, and it is a great one, so be sure to check it out. And also, if you missed any of our previous recap shows or exit interviews with any of the house guests, especially Jed, if you want to compare a Jed and a Beth side by side, definitely check those out on all your favorite broadcasting locations and podcast providers. Five-star rating and nice review is always appreciated, too. And you know what? Uh, if, Like we said, if you are watching this on Friday, the 30th of April, get ready for our show with um, Alicia from Nailed It, who was a huge fan of my horse, which I think I do great. <laughs> and now I'm distracted because guess what, Eric? What? <laughs> it's gonna be May. It is. And you know what else? When we start doing our circle shows, can I give you the teensiest spoiler? Teensy. It's real teensy. Okay. One of the catfishes. Okay. Are pretending to be Lance Bass. <laughs> what? It's gonna be May. All right, we got so much to do. Don't watch The Circle yet. If you want to wait for us, we'll do the watch through together, probably starting next week, possibly Friday, but it's coming. We'll they were days away. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for loving all of our content. Nicole, any final thought? Um, 
Have a day like Beth is having a day with energy and joy and positivity and light and just enjoy it. Have a positivity, a dibbity dibbity do day. <laughs> Get out there and grab life by the reins and soar like a bird. Bye yes. for now, everybody. Butterfly. <laughs> Bye, friend. I was, was going to say balls. No. No good thing you didn't. Good thing that you is didn't. not appropriate. It's not. It's not, Eric. Bye, friend. Mm.